Hey guys, welcome to this video. If you try to connect your personal Gmail account to make that come, but you receive this annoying error message all the time, then this is the right video for you because I was struggling with the same thing and it took me a while to figure out how to solve this issue, but eventually I did and um, I thought I will create this video about it so you don't have to spend too much time on this problem. You can just follow the steps that I will show you and then you can connect your account easily and start working with Make. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started and let's see how you can do this. So the first thing we'll have to do, we'll have to create a Google Cloud project. Luckily, it's very simple and it is free, so let's do it together. You'll have to come to this website and log in with your Google account that you're planning to use with Make. And once you're here, just click Create Project. This new project screen will pop up and here you just have to give your project name, which doesn't really matter, and your organization, which again, doesn't really matter. So actually you can keep everything as is on default. Just click Create. So it's creating a project and now it is created. You can refresh the screen so that you can actually see that your project appeared here. There it is. So step number two, enter the project. So click these little dots and click settings and that will take you to the project settings. We're not going to do anything here in the settings. The point is that you see this thing because that means that you are within the project. So once you're within the project, we're going to head over to the search bar and I'm going to search for API. Once you're here, just click enabled APIs and services. We're going to enable the Gmail API so that we can use it with our project. So click Enable API and Services, and it will bring up the screen where you can search for Gmail. So just search for Gmail. Make sure to click the first one, the Gmail API, and here just click Enable. Okay, so now that we have this Gmail API added to our project, we'll have to define the scopes. So this is the level of access that this app is allowed to have once we are using it in our project. It will be under Data Access, but before we will be able to set it up, we'll have to create a Google Authentication um, client first. So just search for data access and click the first results that comes up. And there you go. It says Google Authentication Platform not configured yet. So let's start the configuration process. We'll click create. We'll create an app name. Doesn't really matter how we call it. We can call it test and we can use um, our email address. Doesn't really matter. For the audience, we'll have to pick external audience because the whole reason you're doing this is that you're not part of an organization and you want to use your personal. Gmail account, and this makes it possible. You'll be able to add your personal email address as a tester to this app, and then you'll be able to use it on Make. So that's the plan. You click Next, and for the contact information, you can also just give your email address just once. So you're not going to publish this app, and no one's going to email you asking questions about the app. But you have to set up these things because it's part of the project configuration. So just click Next and Finish, Continue, Create. Okay, so once we are ready with this, we can go to the Data Access. And here you can see that we can add or remove scopes. We're going to add scopes to our um, Gmail API so that the Gmail API can work with our application. So add or remove scopes and search for Gmail API. And we're going to add a couple of things from this list. We can add mail.google.com, uh, gmail.modify, compose, um, read only metadata. I'm not sure about this one. We can add this one too. And well, maybe send, of course and labels. Okay, so once we're done with this, we can click update. And this will automatically categorize our scopes into non-sensitive, sensitive, and restricted scopes. This is similar to when you are downloading an application on your phone and it says the application wants to see your messages, connect to the internet, use your um, camera, and, and things of that nature. Those are similar scopes that you will have to grant access to if you want to access all functionalities of the application. So click save. And once this is saved, we're very close to finishing. We'll just have to add trusted domains to our application, so websites that it can use. And we'll also have to set up a Google, like what is it called, Google OAuth uh, client. Uh, and in there, we'll have to specify a return URL, which is basically the URL that you will return to once you authenticate yourself with Google. Okay, so we are right on track. Let's just do these two things. And then we are ready to use our personal email account on Make. So we're going to click Branding as a next step. And in branding, we just scroll down and there's this authorized domain section. We can click add domain and we'll add make.com. And we'll also add integromat.com, which was the previous name of make and still some of the backend processes refer to this domain. So let's add that as well, like this, and then we can click save. Okay, and the last step is that we'll head over to this client section. And here we'll create a new OR 2.0 client. So click Create Client, and here just click Web Application. You can call it Test. 
it doesn't matter. What matters is that you will have to specify an authorized redirect URL, which as I mentioned is a URL that you will be redirected to once that little Google authentication box pops up and you authenticate yourself with Google. So you want this to be redirected to Make's service. In their documentation, they specify what is the correct URL to be used for redirect URLs. So I'm getting it from here. I will just paste it. This is the URL that you'll have to use. I'll put it in the comments so you don't have to type it in. So once you are done with setting this up, just click create. Now it says it's created this authentication client with this client ID and client secret key. So we can use this information on make to connect our email address. So let's head over to make and search for Gmail. We can use this watch emails trigger and we'll click create connection, but do not yet click on sign in with Google. Before you would do that, you want to enable this show advanced settings. And here you want to enter your client ID and client secret from uh, this Google Cloud project. So you can copy your client ID and paste it in here. And you can copy your client secret and also paste it in here. And once you do that, you can click sign in with Google. And this will take you to this uh, sign in page. For me, it appears in Hungarian, but uh, for you, it is probably in English uh, like this. So just choose your account and, um, ah, oops, okay. So we forgot to add our email address as a test to this project, which was one of the key reasons we set up the projects to begin with. So that's kind of silly. Let me fix that real quick. Let's go back to Google Cloud. Just click OK to make this box disappear. And you'll want to go to this audience section and here just add test users. So you will click add users and just type in the email address that you want to use on make. Click save. And now we should be able to connect. So let's try it again. Go and close this uh, box. Click create connection. Show advanced settings. Again, we'll have to supply our um, keys here. So you can view your keys if you go back to this authentication section. And you can grab your client ID. Paste it in here. And the client secret. Paste in here. And now click sign in with Google. I'll again just change the language to English. Um, and we can continue. And hopefully now it will work. This is not an error. It just says that this application is not verified. It's still being tested. You can click continue. And again, you can click continue. It will show you what accesses this application will have. So this is what we set up when we were setting up the scopes. We'll continue. And now you should be able to connect. And there it is. So now you connected your personal email account to make. So let's test if it is working properly. I'll quickly set up an automation that fetches my emails on Gmail and sends me a notification to a different email address once a new email arrives. That way we can test if make can read my emails and also if make can send emails using my email address. Click folder and it will fetch my folders. Um, I will use the inbox. And for criteria, I'll say um, all emails and I'll click save. I'll say select first email and it is fetching my emails. It could fetch my emails, uh, which is great. I will click, um, I will just click save and I will add a new um, scenario. I'll say uh, Gmail, send an email. I will send it to another email account of mine. For the subject, we can say, new email arrived in Gmail. And for the content, we can, I don't know, just pass in the text content for now and click save. Okay, so now we can run this whole automation. It should be able to grab the first email from my inbox and send it over to my iCloud email address. So we can click run once to see if it is working uh, properly. Okay, so both scenarios have completed. So let's see if I get a new email and also what it grabbed. If I come here and click on the text content and I'll see that I received some email from Google Cloud that I shut down a project, which is okay. If I head over to my Gmail account, I guess that is indeed the first message that I have over there. So let's check that, right? So this seems to be okay. And if I go into my other email box, I suspect that I received this uh, here. Right, there you go. This is the same email that we can see over on Gmail. 
we just grab the text from here without any formatting and uh, put it into uh, the body section of this email. So guys, this is working fine. This is how you connect your personal email account to make.com.